Hello guys, today we will take a ride on this guy, Bui train, let's go! And today I want to talk about Chinese high-speed trains and compare them with our European trains. Because of COVID-19 I can't go back to Europe to make any videos, but I have a footage of our country's trains from early 2020. entering the first class so I will show you how the first class looks like and this is my seat it's very convenient and many people are resting here and sleeping welcome this is my first time sitting in the first class and I want to move here I have this huge comfy seat just for myself but the man next to me is so noisy <laughs> And they gave me water for free and this thingy. I don't know what is it, but maybe it's a tea or snacks. And many people wonder how much I paid for the first class. From Hangzhou to Tiaxin, I paid 103 yuan. The ride takes about 30 minutes and I need to enjoy my time because on Chinese trains the time passes way too fast. <coughs> Here are the buttons for operating the seat. Let's try the second one. No. The coin challenge is popular on Chinese social media, but I haven't used coins in China for years. Still, this water can show you how stable the buoy trains are. Because the price of the first class is quite high, I have to move to the second class for the second part of my ride. <laughs> the second class costs only one third of the first class price, so it's quite reasonable. The ticket price of trains in our country is similar to that of Chinese buoy trains, but our trains are very slow and outdated. So the trains are maybe from the Soviet era or maybe even earlier so and trains have no internet connection so the seven hours long ride feels like you have to spend eternity on the train most of the people are sleeping or playing on phones or working <laughs> in china you have 4g connection in trains all the time so that means you can be on your phone all the time hey that's my snacks the speed of this buoy train is about 300 km per hour. Now it's 304 km per hour. That's very different from Slovakia. In Slovakia we only have <laughs> in Slovakia we have the slowest trains in Europe. The average speed of trains is about 80 km per hour. The speed of trains in China is like four times faster. Still you don't feel it. It's very smooth and but in Slovakian train, you feel every bump on the railway. Another thing about Slovak trains is that they have delays. If you are lucky, it's 30 minutes on average, it's 2 hours, but many times even 12 hours. Once I took the train in Slovakia, the wagon I was sitting in got broken. I don't remember what happened. Still, I had to move to the different wagon and stand for like 7 hours, that's why I don't <laughs> miss Slovak train. On Chinese trains you have like, never you have delays. Once I had a delay that was like 5 minutes, that was the longest time I had to wait for the train in China. But there is one thing I don't like about Chinese trains, that is like about 3 years ago I used to go to Shanghai every weekend to see my boyfriend and then back to Hangzhou to my university. At that time I couldn't afford to take a boy train every time. The ticket price is about 70 yen per ride. Still the slow train 
or green strength in China, they only cost between 20 to 30 yen per ticket and speed is about 150 km per hour, so it's the same as the fast strength in Slovakia. So thank you guys for watching this video and see you soon in the next video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Bye bye!